Hey, hey, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Priorities on Purpose. I'm super excited for you to hear this episode. I'm telling you now, be ready. It's straight fire. Like, you're going to want to have this on replay. You're going to want to listen to it more than once. I may step on your toes a little bit, so I'm going to prepare you ahead of time. Consider your toes stepped on. Grab a pen and paper and get ready because this is uh, part of a Facebook Live I did inside of our Real Talk Tribe community. And I believe I may have even broadcast it on my business page. So what I'm talking about is how I got to where I'm at. So many times when we are in the thick of it, we feel like we're never going to get to where we are going. I started my journey of coaching, which by the way, you did not know this. I've been coaching for a really long time, but I started the journey of being paid for coaching in 2019. And the best part about it is it may have been 2020 now. I can't, I I honestly, I don't remember, but I do remember that it was in 2019 when I asked myself the question, if I could do anything in the world with money not being an issue, what would I do? And I said, hands down, without a doubt, coach women all day, every day. And at that time, I didn't know I could actually get paid for it. And so here I am a couple of years later, and I'm living this out. I've created this business where I get to do what I absolutely love doing and make money. So it's kind of a big deal. And I think that's how cool God is, right? Like he is the one that has given me this passion. He has given me these gifts. And I get to walk in them every single day and love what I do, make an impact on lots of other women and make money. So cool. Anyways, grab a pen and paper. You're going to want to take notes. This episode, again, straight fire. Hey there, I'm Melissa Batt, the host of Priorities on Purpose, a podcast for overwhelmed direct sellers who want to grow their income, audience, and influence without sacrificing their mental health and main priorities. Whether you're just starting a new adventure or you're 15 years in and have already climbed the ranks, I want to help you have the life and the business of your dreams. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Or maybe you thought you had it and something changed. Whether you have your entire dream mapped out or have completely given up on all the possibilities, I'm here to remind you that God is bigger than the little box we put him in. This side gig is part of his plan. It's not your sole purpose, but it absolutely has purpose. As a Christian life and business coach, I'm here to help you get out of your head and live with intention so you can enjoy what matters most without the guilt. More time to do what you love, more peace, more impact, more money, and opportunities to give to those you wanna help. I promise to be your hype girl, business bestie, and biggest cheerleader as I share proven and simple strategies that will be sure to help you live a fulfilled life with a strong, sustainable business. Are you ready to stop chasing all the shiny things and get laser focused? Put your earbuds in while you're cooking dinner or folding that laundry and let's get to it, friend. This is one time when multitasking is actually going to be beneficial. Okay, so one of the number one things that have helped me get to where I'm going when I started on this journey in 2019 is keeping the long term vision in front of me. I knew that I knew that I knew where I was going and I have not let anything distract me. So many people are like, hey, do you want to do this? Hey, do you want to do this? And if it doesn't serve the purpose and have some kind of meaning behind it, I am not afraid to say no. And sometimes that's really, really hard because we don't want to hurt people's feelings or we just feel like we're good at it or, you know, we haven't set those boundaries. You have to set boundaries, friends. Like you have to set boundaries. You will be distracted when you are going and like working to walk out this thing that you know God wants you to do. The distractions are going to come. That's what the enemy wants, right? He wants to distract, derail, and destroy you so that you cannot do the things that God wants you to do. And in that, it comes with distractions. That's the easiest way. So many times, like I remember, for example, someone wanted me, had reached out to me and said, hey, it looks like you're really good on social media. And is that something that you would be interested? We're looking for someone to do that. And it was like a pretty large organization. It involved ministry and like it almost felt like it fit, right? Except that it didn't. And so I had to say no. And did I want to say no? 
I didn't. I wanted to be able to say yes, because number one, I wanted to support that ministry. But I also like I knew I'd be good at it. And sometimes that is the hardest part is knowing that you would be really good at something. And not that we aren't humble, like I'm humble. I know when I'm good at something and I know when I'm not. All right. And it's easy to say no to the things that I'm not good at, but it is difficult to say no to the things that I know I would be good at. And that is necessary when you are walking out the life that God has for you. Okay. So that's number one, keeping the long-term vision in, in front of us and creating those boundaries. How does it line up? Praying about it, not being afraid to say no. Some of you just need to be able to take a moment to pause and reflect before automatically saying yes. Some of you don't know how to say no at all. And that's why you're not getting anywhere because you're constantly saying yes to all these things without even creating a boundary or recognizing the significance of where God is taking you. And that's getting in the way. And not only is it getting in the way of you, going where God wants you to go is getting in the way of the breakthrough that is going to be coming from the people that you work with. And so it's really, really important that you start protecting the vision and keeping it in front of you and asking yourself, like, does this line up? Some things will line up a little bit. Some things will line up a lot. You have to recognize that and discern for yourself what is going to help, what is going to hinder, and what is like, from God right now, right? Sometimes I want to say no to the uncomfortable things because it's not something I'm going to be good at or it's not something I'm comfortable with. I feel like God is saying this, like you're praying for a breakthrough and I'm trying to give you a breakthrough, but because it doesn't look like the way you want it to look, you're not willing to go through that door. Like I'm trying to help you. That's what God is telling me sometimes. And I remember, you know, I was praying like, Lord, Lord, help me Help me meet people and network in this area. And then there was this event at my church. And some of you guys may have heard this story, but there was a women's event. And I automatically, before I even had the opportunity to think, would I go or not? I was like, no, that's my nice birthday. I'm going to go to Indiana. I'm going to hang out with my mom and I'm going to do this, 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 and this. was a good idea. I made it up along the way. I hadn't even taken a moment to pause and be like, is this from God? And as that, like, I automatically made plans on the fly because I did not want to go to a women's event where I would know nobody and it would be uncomfortable until God hit me up that upside the head with a brick and is like, what are you doing? You're asking me for help and I'm trying to help you and you are creating plans on the fly to get out of something I'm trying to help you with, right? And so I just want you to recognize that you need to take a moment and recognize that what God is trying to do, it's not going to be comfortable. It may not even look like your strength. It may be terrifying for you. And that's when you know that it's probably God because it's going to take you, depending on him, to get through it. Yeah, I'm not even stepping on your toes yet, guys. Like this is we're just getting started. All right. So another thing to think about and when you're keeping the vision in front of you is like not giving up. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But you cannot allow the fact that it's hard to derail you. You have to create the boundaries, protect the dream, protect the vision, and recognize that it's not going to be easy, but it doesn't mean it's not worth it. You've got to have that battle plan. Look at my blog post. I'll share it at the end of this video. There's a blog post about like, what's your battle? Like you need a freaking battle plan because if you are doing this, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. The resistance is going to come and you need a battle plan. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys this, but some of you still don't have a battle plan. And I'm like, what are you doing? You need a battle plan. And some of the things that I know for me have helped when having that battle plan is the people. You need some ride or die people behind you that you can count on when things get tough. You need the prayer warriors. You need a community of believers like your local church. And listen, this is a soapbox moment. Through 2020, I really felt like the church had failed me and I wasn't, I didn't need the church. And my friend was like, you need to go back to church. And 
I had no desire to go back to church. I had grown more spiritually, not inside the church than I had ever. And so I'm like, I'm ashamed to say this, but that's how I felt. I was like, I do not need the church. All right. And my friend was like, God's doing something. You've got to go back to church. And so I was like, fine, fine. I'm going to try one more time to find a church that is a good fit for me. And so that last church, it was February 2021. And we're still with that church. I didn't know I needed the church, but I needed the church. But also the church needed me. And sometimes we are thinking that we're just there to to take from the church. But no, like God is calling some women, and not just women, men as well, to rise up and start serving in their church so that the people that need to be there can see you and recognize the churches for them too. There's a whole lot of people doing church and not being the church. And God is calling some of us to rise up and be the church, probably all of us, but some of us are not heeding to that call and they're just going through the motions. And then when they're going through the motions and someone who is lost and broken is coming inside the church, what happens? They feel dismissed. They feel like they don't belong and they don't come back. God needs some of you to go back to church, okay? And so sometimes it's for you, sometimes it's for for them, but regardless, you need to go back because you need the community of people. You you don't just need to go to church. You need to get involved. You need to find a way to serve in your local church and find those people. It is not easy to find those people, especially, I feel like a lot of times it looks like everyone knows everyone and you don't fit. Maybe you aren't meant to fit. Maybe you're meant to, to not be on the inside in that clique. And that's okay. But that doesn't mean you stop trying to find those people. You don't have to have a lot of those people. You can just have one or two of those people. That's all that matters. Okay. So I really want to call you to go back to your local church as part of your battle plan. Worship music, prayer warrior friends. I have my friends that I haven't talked to for six months. And I know that if I need them, all I have to do is say, hey, I don't want to talk about it right now. I just need you to pray and they will pray for me. You need those kind of people in your life. You also need a mentor or someone that you can look up to who's going to speak truth to you when you need to hear the truth and not coddle you. Because sometimes it's going to get hard and you're going to want to quit and you're not going to want to hear what someone has to say, but that doesn't mean you don't need to hear it, okay? So those are some of the things about the battle plan I wanted to mention. Don't give up. Don't give up. Worship music also part of the battle plan. All right, so now I want to mention last thing that I think has been super helpful for me, and that is not being afraid to spend the money. This is something that I do not understand about some people, and I'm probably talking about some of you. I I recognize it. This is not comfortable for me to talk about because, first of all, I don't It's not easy for me to talk about because I don't understand your mindset, okay? I have not been afraid to spend the money, even when I didn't have it. Like, I will find a way to come up with the money, even when I don't have it. Like, how am I going to come up with money? I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out because I believe in where I'm going and I recognize the importance of investing and spending the money to get what I need. You have to spend money to make money. I have a friend who was looking at selling stuff on Poshmark. She's probably not going to watch this, but she's like, oh, I forgot they take money out. It takes money to make money. It's okay to give a little of the money, okay? Some of you, like, you're you're so tight-fisted with your money, and if you aren't willing to invest in your dream, why should anyone else? Why should anyone else? If you aren't willing to invest in your dream, why should anyone else? I'm repeating that again on purpose. And I know that that kind of stings, but I do not understand it because like what, where is the disconnect? I know that I'm the type of person that like I will spend the money and think about it later. I get that. And so that is a little bit of a difference probably between me and some of you, but it takes money to make money. Have I spent money that was a waste of my time and my resources? Absolutely. 
But I also think that I learned, like, even though I didn't get the results that I wanted through spending that amount of money, I learned something. I learned something about myself and I learned that I am willing to invest even if it doesn't go the way I want it to go. And I I do think you need to discern a little bit and not, I mean, you have to be smart about spending money, right? Like you do need to be smart about it, but don't be afraid to spend the money. If you're willing to send your kids to band camp or a summer camp, that's going to cost money. Like, why are you willing to invest in yourself? Like you have a dream that God is giving you and you need support. You need someone who's been there and who can help you along the way. Like, why aren't you willing to invest in yourself? I don't understand it. Honestly, I do not understand it. Is it fear? Is it fear that it's not going to be worth it? Is it fear of actually getting the results and not being ready for it? Is it because you don't feel worthy? Why are we willing to spend all this money on a brand new phone or, you know, a fancy purse or, you know, thousands of dollars at Christmas or whatever, but we aren't willing to invest in something that's going to not only change our life, but someone else's also? I don't understand. I don't. And so talking about this, it's super hard for me. I want you to know it's super hard for me because I don't understand. Like I have been willing to spend the money. And so I'm going to tell you some of the things now that I've spent money on because I think that it was a really good use of my money. And if you're willing to spend the money, these are areas where I would consider spending money. Okay. So number one, a coach that is aligned with you. So I haven't always, like I currently, for the record, disclaimer, I currently do not have a one-on-one coach, okay? God has me in this season where I am not. He doesn't want me connected with anyone else one-on-one. He really wants me plugged into him. That doesn't mean that I won't have a one-on-one coach again. But when I was first getting started, there is no way I could get to where I'm going without having that one-on-one support weekly to help me get out of my head, talk things through. So I want you to know that I could not have gotten to where I am today if I first wouldn't have partnered with someone that I knew that could help me get to where I was wanting to go. I needed someone who'd been there and was just a few steps ahead of me. I couldn't afford someone who was all the way there and arrived, but I could afford someone who was a few steps ahead. For the record, that's what I needed. I didn't need someone who was fully there. I needed someone who was a few steps ahead of me because those who are already there, most of the time don't remember like all the little things that was going on in the beginning, right? Like they've kind of forgotten that part. And so having someone to help you in the beginning, because in the beginning is when it is the hardest, okay? You're going to doubt yourself. You're going you're going to hear people be like, "What are you doing?" It's going to be so uncomfortable. You need someone to partner with you one-on-one. I'm just telling you this. I don't care if you hire me or you don't hire me. I'm telling you you need to find someone who is further ahead of you so that they can help you. And again, it's that thing about investing in yourself because how was I as a coach going to charge money for something I was not willing to invest in, right? It wouldn't have worked. I would have been like, no one's going to pay for that. But because I was willing to pay for that, I know people will pay for that, right? And it also gave me the accountability of showing up, not just because I was spending the money, but also because we had weekly calls and that was accountability, all right? So one-on-one coaching definitely especially in the beginning. If you can't afford one-on-one coaching, a great membership or something like that would be great. And then the courses that you need to get to where you're going. I remember one of the, not the best decisions ever, but I get sucked in very easily. I bought this Instagram course. It was on my birthday and it just seems so good. She was fire and I was like, this is what I need. So I bought it and I did learn some things out of it from it, but I didn't implement it fully. It was all about hashtags, which are pretty much irrelevant now. But at the time, like it did help me. It just didn't help me in the way that I thought it would. 
But again, like I don't regret purchasing it because I did learn from that. Okay. But the three, three things that I want to talk about now that really have helped me is a program called Pixie Stock. Pixie Stock. I don't even remember how I heard about it, but it's basically social media content calendars, which to this day I still don't use. But what I do use is her templates and her graphics, her photos. So she, it's like stock images, stuff like that. Almost everything you see that is like a stock image I got from her. Yes, you can do Unsplash for free, but I have ADHD. I get distracted really easily and I would save all these photos and not ever go back and use them. So I love Pixie Stock. I actually got in around Thanksgiving. She does a deal where you can do, I think I did the annual the first year and paid for a full year in advance. Um, that is coming up and it will be discounted. But on top of that, then she opens Lifetime. Y'all, I got in for a Lifetime membership. Like I have it forever and only spent the money one time. Best decision ever because it's only getting better. And I believed in her. I didn't know her. I still don't know her, but I love what she's doing. I love, like you can just tell she gives her all. And I was willing to, no matter what, at least like invest in her and definitely do not regret it. You'll hear more about Pixie Stock soon because they do have a sale coming up and annual is amazing. Lifetime is even better, but you can also do it month to month to see what it is. But you get you get access to so much stuff. All right. So the next thing I purchased that I highly recommend is Kajabi. So Kajabi is my website. And I've actually went back and forth on this one. I'm like, was it the best investment? Was it not the best investment? And there were a, there was definitely a time when I would be like, you don't need Kajabi. Like, I'd, you don't need Kajabi. But I definitely think that it was a good investment for me because it's a one-stop shop. And when I was using other things for like website, email and all of that. Like I had to relearn it all. It has taken me a while. Like I think I'm two years in of using Kajabi now and it's taken me a while to learn like all the technology side of it, but I'm learning it and I'm never going to have to change. Like Kajabi will grow with me and I don't ever have to change and try something else. So for the time investment, like it's, it's great use of my time because I'm not relearning a bunch of different stuff. I'm adding on as I go. And so I definitely recommend Kajabi has a course, membership, coaching, podcast, email, sales pages. It has everything there. So I do recommend Kajabi. If you're interested in that, let me know and I can talk you through it a little bit more. And then third would be Shalene's program, uh, Shalene Johnson's program, Marketing Impact Academy. Again, I've talked about this before. I will talk about it again, but game changer absolute game changer for me. So again, sometimes we don't know what we need, but I want you to just be open-handed, okay? Like just be open-handed and recognize that it takes action to see action, right? So many times we're standing still and we're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do something for crying out loud. Do something because it's going to take something for you to get some kind of idea on what's next or what you're doing. Like clarity comes from action. And so do something. Something is always better than nothing. All right. So I'm going to go in and read some of the questions now. If you have questions, definitely drop them down. I'm seeing some of them already. And you're like, I'm going to hide. You're stepping on my big toe. We can hide together. She third down the gauntlet, investing yourself. Yes. And I'm not saying that because I want you to hire me. Do I think you should hire me? Yes, because I know without a doubt, I can help you. No doubt, 100% confident in that. And if I wasn't confident in it, I wouldn't be doing this, right? Like I know what those who work with me one-on-one, like I know the results they get. They tell me the results that they get. In fact, like I just had someone yesterday, this is a breakthrough member who's in the platinum. She's not even one-on-one coaching with me yet, but I'm going to tell you what she said because she has boxer access. She shared with me her thoughts on something and I commented back 
And she said this. She said, "Woo, you're good. God is speaking right through you, sister. Yes, it's hard to not lead in that surrender, self-discipline, obedience. You have me in tears or he has me in tears. Like that is the results that you get when you work with me. And I know this is what God has called me to do. That's it. Like I'm confident in it. And I don't say that with pride. I say it with confidence because it takes confidence for me to be able to, you know, this I'm two years in. In the beginning, I remember my rates were like 197. Well, for crying out loud, the success lounge started at $20. Like I begged people to invest $20 to be a part of the success lounge. $20. Today, it goes for like $129 a month, or you can get the whole, a whole year for $587. Fully worth. $587 $587 fully worth $129. One-on-one coaching, I started at $197. My first, what I paid to get coaching um, when I started down this direction, we're not talking about the Steve Wiltshire dude that I paid a lot of money to. That was probably not the best decision, but I did learn. But I, I had once shelled up a lot of money for Steve Wiltshire, mainly because other people were using him. And so I was like, oh, it's they're using him. I need to use him, too. I had, no, I had no idea. I had no vision. I had no idea what I wanted. I was like, oh, well, this is the next step. So this is what I'm going to do. I got zero results for it. But I think it wasn't necessarily him. It's because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just playing in my business. I was I had all this money and didn't know what to do with it. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, this is the next thing. I'm just going to invest in Steve Wiltshire and, and get a year of coaching from him. It was more a status thing, I think, versus where I wanted to go because I didn't know where I was going. I had no idea. So, so once I started on this journey that I'm currently on, the first person I hired to coach me, it called, I think she was 297. And as if she was 297, then I started my rates just under her because I was like, she's further along than I am. So I'm going to charge 197. So you could get a whole month with me, four calls or weekly calls for an hour for $197. And then I moved to 297. And then I moved to my current rates, which are, let me look. I got it here because I forget. 579, I think, or... Yeah, I think it's 579 is what I'm currently charging. Those rates are going up at the beginning of the year. So PSA, if you want to lock in those prices now, Success Lounge members can get the 30-minute calls and then it's half that. But I don't do 30-minute calls for everyone because sometimes we need, like it takes an hour for me to hear what is being said, but also what isn't being said and speak to those things. So again, to sum this up, right? Don't be afraid to spend money. If you aren't willing to invest in your dream, why should anyone else? And keep your long-term vision in front of you to create those boundaries and be willing to say no because just because it's a good thing doesn't mean it's a God thing. Hey friends, that's it for this episode. If you found value, I would love it if you could take a couple of seconds and leave me a quick review. While it may seem super simple, it is so beneficial and gives me the opportunity to help more women. Also take a screenshot and share it on social media with your biggest aha today. Don't forget to tag me at Melissa Bad Official so we can connect. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, friend, keep walking it out one baby step at a time because God's got you.